Hey, today I'm going to show you how to re-isolate Fusarium from plant tissue. We are going to use three different types of samples. Fresh corn, fresh cell stem, but also in samples that are not nice anymore. Samples that are too dry or samples that are actually rotten. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. I hope you enjoy. The first thing we are going to do is to clean very well, as usual. Now we are going to need empty Petri dishes, Petri dishes with media, filter paper, sterile, water, and bleach, one to three percent. And of course, our samples. Now we are going to prepare our material. For that, we need our empty Petri dishes. And we are going to put them in this direction. We need three of them. So we pour our water in the second one. We're going to use this to wash our samples. Then the bleach in the first one. And in the last one, we are going to put one or two pieces of filter paper. We are going to start with sample number one, fresh corn. By the way, we need an additional Petri dish in which we are going to cut the material. So we place our samples and now the only thing we need to do is to make small pieces. You have to try to cut along the complete diameter of the sample. In that case, you are going to take a good representation of the sample and then just make small pieces. Once you have your samples, you can take the rest of the material and you can put it back in the tube. Now you are going to transfer those little pieces to the first Petri dish that contains hypochlorite or bleach. You are going to keep them there for at least one minute until the samples start to, to become a little bit white. Don't worry, the fungus is not going to die, only everything that is outside in the surface. After that minute, you are going to transfer the little pieces to the water. Rinse very well and then slowly transfer to the filter. And with that, our sample number one is ready. Just put it apart and let it dry. Remember, the samples should be absolutely dry before you transfer them to a media. Sample number two, cell the stem. For this type of sample, what you need to do is to get rid of the first layers. So we are going to eliminate the first, the second, and we are going to focus on the third and fourth layer like this and we are going to repeat the same process just cut very small pieces depending on the number of plates but i think but i recommend you to put five pieces per plate once you have enough samples put the rest back and repeat the procedure first samples go to the bleach for at least remember one minute the samples will turn a little bit whiter. And then is the time to transfer them the second Petri dish, which contains sterile water. It's very important that you rinse very well and then we just transfer to the filter paper. And with that, we are ready with sample number two. And we start again again remember it's very important that the samples are totally dry before you put them in the petri dish with media but the samples should be ready in around 10 to 30 minutes as long as you are careful and you change your material every time you can do as much samples as you want at the same time sample number three the ugly one in this case we are going to use samples that are rotten or not in good conditions. Believe me, it works also for these kind of samples. As you can see here, we have a piece of corn, but also we have a piece of cell stem. And we repeat the same, remember, cut in the middle of the sample and then make small pieces. When you have enough pieces, just put back the, the rest. 
this piece is enough to, to obtain a good colony of Fusarium. Then we put these samples apart. We save the rest and we continue with this material that is more difficult. As you can see, it's very soft but also full of fibers. That makes that cutting is a little bit complex as you can see here. When you manage to take small pieces, you can use those ones to isolate the fungus, something like this. I'm going to take this big piece and I will put it in the bleach just to show you how they turn in a different color and you can observe the vascular tissue colonized by Fusarium and those are the pieces that we are going to use to re-isolate the fungus. So after that we repeat the procedure, we put our samples in the, into the bleach like this. And after one or two minutes, the sample will be like that, look. You can clearly see the vascular tissue, the red discoloration. This is where the fusarium is located and we are going to take it from there. You see these small pieces also. So after that, we transfer again to the water, pieces of corn, we rinse very well and also the pieces of cell stem is exactly the same. Remember they were absolutely dark but now they look perfect. Put it in paper and filter paper and that's it. Now when the, the samples are ready and are dry it's time to transfer them to media. I'm using, I'm using here PDA with uh, streptomycin. The information on how to prepare the media, you can find it in the information box. Also, sometimes I use Comada media, more difficult samples, like for example, soil. What we are going to do is just transfer those pieces there. Don't forget labels. If you don't have labels, use a marker. This is very important. Now, with clean tools, we are going to transfer those little samples to the media. You can put as much as you want, but I recommend to put no more than five or six uh, pieces per plate. After three days, you will get the first, the first colonies in, in the plate. We are going to continue with the sample number two, with the pseudo stem, and it's exactly the same. Sometimes the pseudo stem is more difficult to place because it gets stuck to the tool. So in that case, you don't forget that you can use the scalpel to help, but clean it very well. Then put it there, press a little bit, and that's it. Sample two. And finally, sample three, the ugly one. As you can see, it looks the same as the previous samples. I'm just placing the, the cell to stem in one side and the pieces of corn in the other side. That's it, sample three. Now we seal them, clean, and we put our samples in the incubator. 25 to 27 degrees is a perfect temperature. And also it has to be dark. Don't forget to flip your plates. After three days, you can already observe some colonies growing like this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like it and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.